Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, am I through to Jehovah's Witnesses? I'm on your JW uh, org site. Hello. Uh, yes, I have, there is a reference number there which you've picked up on, yeah. Ah, that's, that's great. I've been reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, and I've been okay, on the yeah. JW.org site yeah, well, yeah. since since during the lockdown. Um, I've been spending many hours there. I, <laughs> I'm just... I'm just puzzled about a couple of things in your book, Enjoy Life Forever, but overall, I have a question. Is the is the Watchtower Society, and I don't mean good-hearted people like you, who would be, I guess, an elder. I mean the parent corporations, the Watchtower of New York and the Watchtower of Pennsylvania. Do they have any connection to Freemasonry? No, not at all. Because no, they, I... They, there is... There, there is uh terms those uh, names are just legal uh, requirements in order to own property yeah well they own about a hundred billion so they own quite a lot of property they they they, they moved out of new york because of it being inconvenient and uh, one thing or another most of the buildings were sold to a relative of oh uh, donald trump's relative gerard trump's kushner rel- yeah Gerald Kushner or something, yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, for further development. Yes. And, uh, but it funded, all that did was funded a move out to a more country location. Um, the property portfolio certainly is, is massive, I can't deny that. Looking at one of the older books, Pastor Russell's Sermons. Oh, gracious, yeah, yeah. Um, Pastor Russell's sermon on page seven, he uses the term Grand Master of Abraham, and I'm just puzzled because that's a Masonic well, term. That, that is a hundred years old. Uh, they were, at that time, uh, that was called pre-war time, pre, pre-First World War, the end of the uh, 1800s. They were, they were investigating and seeing what, uh, what sort of uh, research various organizations had done but uh, yes. anything anything in connection with Freemasonry or uh, Masonic lodges and all that sort of thing uh, was uh, certainly cut cut away and uh, uh, pretty well uh, by the time of uh, after the First World War there was no uh, connection or affiliation or some such with any of those such you organizations. Said, you said cut away, so there was a Masonic link there, was there? Well, it was cut out of any documentation that we were publishing at that time. Right. Uh, th- there wasn't an actual link. There was simply uh, R- Russell and uh, his associates were investigating and seeing what uh, what information mm-hmm. uh, was. What could you say? I wouldn't say quite in the marketplace, but what what was the uh, activities or information that other uh, groups of people were. Uh, publishing um, and they, they looked into it and sort of made comments about it but yes we certainly didn't maintain or pursue any uh, direct connection nor if we uh, uh, continue to uh, make contact with that uh, type of activity i mean pastor russell when he died he was buried very near to a, a pyramid a nine foot tall pyramid with an all-seeing eye on top Built by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Yeah, well, that has been said, dismantled that goes back now. over a hundred years. So, yeah, <laughs> that but was that, that was purely. Uh, I mean, as ha- a result of investigation and uh, how they felt might might be possible. It wasn't yes. uh, a defined uh, doctrine or teaching that's continued. Uh, so it's of interest to see well, I wonder what if they it were has trying continued. to find out, but it wasn't something that they maintained or continue to uh, publicize but but i wonder if it if it has continued because i noticed on jw broadcasting if you blow up several years ago stephen lett appeared with a little small pinky ring on his little finger and it was a blue pinky ring with a square and compass on it and so i'm wondering does mr lett have any connection to the freemasons this was on jw broadcasting you yeah, yeah, you had I to know, blow yeah. up I, the I, know picture. The, I know the programs yes yes yeah no, we, we don't promote or uh, take on Freemasonry or uh, any of the uh, similar organisations. Why did Mr. Lett wear this ring, though, on JW Broadcasting? You'll, you'll have to uh, write him a letter and ask him. Right. 
Okay. Um, You're welcome to do so. I noticed that today you follow a practice in your kingdom halls because at the front of the kingdom halls i don't know if you notice i've looked at pictures online and there's there's lots of uh pictures of the the stage at the front of the kingdom hall where there's two cosmetic pillars on the stage have you have you noticed that uh that's purely uh, architectural decoration uh our, our local kingdom hall i mean you've you've usually got to support a roof with something uh, we, we have a very plain backdrop. We used to have curtains simply for sound uh, damping a little bit. Uh, we just have an acoustic panel on, on our platform and so do many of the uh, Kingdom Halls. So the, the, the Masons usually identify themselves secretly to other Masons by two pillars which are known as Joachim and Boaz. And well, that's, uh, could I uh, could I finish my sentence? If yeah, you I can. It, thank you. If you look at Pastor Russell, the advertising for the photo drama of creation at the top of the advertising, I think it's either side of the word free or the word daily. Um, there are two pillars which would identify the fact that this is this is Masonic, and I'm wondering that today so many kingdom halls have cosmetic two pillars sometimes there's four pillars i don't know why but often it's a pair of pillars at the front of the kingdom hall uh not holding up the roof just just cosmetic and i'm wondering could this be that they're identifying identifying themselves as freemasons not at all if you uh did you know the origin of those those names yes from solomon's temple yeah so uh, that they were a feature of them. We don't try and rebuild Solomon's Temple. No, but the Freemasons uh, are. Well, yeah, uh, they, the Freemasons use to those do terms. So. We, we don't seek to do that. Mm. We don't uh, seek to imitate, uh, you know, cathedrals with the uh, the nave and uh, cross section of the the rest of the building. So you're going back uh, over, you know, ancient history as far as we're concerned, because we we would. Uh, not promote nor uh, recommend people pursue Freemasonry or, or anything similar to it. Well, why then is Mr. Lett wearing a Freemason ring on JW yeah. Broadcasting? So, uh, and and why are there and, ask. and why are there a pair? Where is the, why on so many um, photographs? No, I, I can't no finish the sentence. At the front of so many kingdom halls, you see a pair of pillars, and that's. I just told you they have no significance uh, religiously. Um, there was a regional meeting place built in Denmark in the shape of an all-seeing eye in the 1990s, and it's only when drones became freely available that people put cameras above this site in in Denmark and they saw that uh, again it's it, it has Masonic symbolism in it it's a it's a regional meeting place of Jehovah's Witnesses with an all-seeing eye you will need to question that uh, via the branch office in Denmark but uh, I don't have any reason to have any Masonic connections nor do I pursue it no I'm not asking uh, about you I'm asking about for others no nor, nor is it currently being done so I'm asking about the Watchtower Society. The, the two Watchtower Societies you, of New York and Pennsylvania are run by Freemasons, aren't they? That's why no, Mr. Let War... If you, if you have a question about that, then write to uh, the World Headquarters offices that you'll yes. pick up on the web website yes. and, and ask the question. OK, a final point would be if you go to jw.org, um, and there's a section for read the Bible online, yep. which is just below the heading. You yeah, can yeah. see it's got a picture of an open book. It's actually just a pencil outline with a diamond in yeah. the corner. This is just uh, a graphic to uh, depict the Bible as a, an icon to pick when you want to go to the Bible. That's all. Mm. It's also another Masonic symbol. The diamond reflects light. So the, the Freemasons say, if you want to know, if you want more light, if you want more knowledge, you don't go to Jesus, you go to them, you go to the Masons. And if you, you, if, you if you look at the miniature of the Statue of Liberty on the River Seine in Paris, 
I think it's um, about 20 foot tall miniature version of the Statue of Liberty. They've recently put that same diamond symbol onto that particular um, statue of a pagan goddess. We, we will emphasize again that we have no connection with Freemasonry currently. Okay. But if you have a question about that, All right. write thank to you. World Headquarters. All right. Thank you very okay. much for your help, thank sir. You for your thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.